Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase how we can set up an application JavaFX where we have multiple tabs in the tab pane, where each of the tab has its own controller and its own FXML. We can thereby separate our tabs to have a more simple structure, which will allow us to have a better understanding of what's happening where, and would be easier for the development process. But for now, let me just showcase inside our main view, FXML. We simply have an outer tab pane with some size setup. We have some XMLs, which is kind of a setup for our FXML file. We have the connection to our controller. We then have our tabs. Our first tab, which is called tab one, and our second tab, tab two. And for now, the content is just an anchor. And we could, I am often using Scene Builder, it makes it a bit easier. Inside this first anchor pane, let's add some text just to make it very clear. Here we have set up one. Let's make it a bit bigger so we can actually see. Tab one. Let's do the same inside tab two. Add some text. Tab two. Bit bigger. There we go. Let's save. And now we can see we have a bunch of extra setup. We now have tab one and tab two with some text. And inside our main view, we now have our tab one with a content area with an anchor pane. And with the anchor panes, then have some children, which in this case is just our text and a specified font size. So, what we would like to do is extract this anchor pane so it's no longer inside our main view, but I would create a new. XML file, and we're gonna call this tab dash one dot fxml. And as we can see here, we get a basic setup where we need to add a controller because for now, as you can see, it's telling us tab one controller doesn't exist. So let's add a new Java class, and we're gonna call it tab one controller and we're then going to connect our xml to and we can see because everything's connected if we just do a dot you would see all the files or the java files inside our complex XML controllers and we can then choose the tab one controller let's just remove this we then now have a new fxml with its own controller which for now is not connected to anything I would then extract my previous setup from my main view. Let's just say we also here have an anchor pane, but let's just take the children of the anchor pane, then delete the anchor pane. So now this tab is empty. Then gonna input these children into our tab one FXML. Of course, it's gonna need to do a few imports because we're importing some new stuff. We can then now inside our main view, let's actually just first run it to showcase that now our tab one is empty. We still have the information in our tab two. We can then inside our main view, create and include what we simply do FX include source. And in this case, I would like to include the source of our tab one XML. And let's actually do it a bit simpler like that. So now all the content of our tab one is going to be included from the tab one XML. When we then run it, we now have tab one here again. And this also makes it a bit more clean because if we added some functionality to tab one, let's actually do, let's add uh, one thing that not to mention though, because we are now inside another fxml than this one we need to know open another scene builder if we wanted to do changes inside our tab one so let's do that we now have two fxmls we have our tab one fxml and our main view but let's just add some stuff inside our tab one fxml and as you can see in here we can't even see that this is connected to the tab view or where it's at we can just use this as like one piece of our project so inside this one i would just add a button let's say and then we would just add an action i would just do button 
quit. I would then show cyber control skeleton, copy this, and it's already connected to our tab one controller. I can then go into my tab one controller, paste this controller skeleton, import my FXML, import my action event. And I would just, in this case, just very simply do, let's just print to the console, button, clicked. So now, when we are running our project, we are telling our hello application to start our main view FXML. Our main view FXML then loads our tab pane with our tabs. Tab one then includes the source from our tab one FXML, which is our text and our button. And this is then connected to our tab one controller. So we're kind of separating the functionality. And for now, our Note our main controller is going to be empty because we're not actually doing any functionality in the main part of the project. It only handles and needs to be there because we need a controller for each FXML, but we haven't added any extra functionality to the tab pane. We might, but in this case, I'm not gonna. So we have our new setup. We will open our run. And whenever we click the button, we now print to the console, button click. And if we should just do it quickly, just to showcase, we can also add our second tab. So we now have our main view. Let's say in tab one, we then include. We would then create a new XML file, call it tab2.fxml. And we're just again doing actually this exact same thing. Create a new Java class, create a tab2 controller. Have our tab two. I like just removing the dot, adding the dot, and then we can see all the files just to make sure it's actually connected. Tab two controller. We then need to go into our view. Let's just do it again. Steal the children. Remove the anger pane. Add the children in here import all the classes for these functionalities. Inside our main view, create an include, and include our tab two XML. We can then run the project, and we now have two tabs, where we are running the main application on the main view with the main controller, but each tab has incorporated the functionality from our tab one FXML or tab two FXML. So for a larger project with many tabs, we've created some kind of proper file structure and then use one FXML and one controller for each page, more or less, for each tab. So that was my showcase of how we with JavaFX and a tab pane can use multiple controllers to separate the functionality of our program and hopefully make larger JavaFX projects a bit cleaner. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.